Armed conflicts make those at risk even more vulnerable, especially children. In South Sudan, boys and girls who are unlawfully recruited, uh, used in hostilities, or otherwise associated with armed forces or armed groups are particularly vulnerable. They're often imprisoned, wounded, or killed. They're also often separated from their families and denied access to education and other essential services. Well, imagine if you were a parent and you knew that there was a risk that your child, your boy or your girl, might uh, be recruited or attacked uh, by armed forces or armed groups while on the way to and from school, or you knew as a parent that there was a risk that there might be just one or more mines or unexploded ordnance inside or around uh, a school or other educational facilities, would you send your child to school? Well, in South Sudan, like in many contexts nowadays, parents are making difficult choices, and in some cases those choices are to keep their children out of schools as a protective measure, quote unquote. It's important at the same time to bear in mind that children are boys and girls, and that boys and girls have different experiences, that they may face specific risks, and that they may have particular needs as a result. For example, boys and girls who are associated with armed forces and armed groups they may be required to undertake different or particular roles, whether as cooks, as porters, messengers, or sometimes they may be used for sexual purposes. And, as a result, they may have very specific and different needs. It's essential in any context that we work in to develop a, a contextualized understanding uh, of the dynamics uh, of child recruitment and use, and that means also having a dialogue with all parties to a conflict, including non-state armed groups, um, on the humanitarian and legal consequences of their action. Preventing the recruitment and use of children by armed forces and armed groups is the best way to protect them from being drawn into hostilities. Children affected by the armed conflict in South Sudan require full and unimpeded access to essential services, including health and medical care, uh, psychosocial support, legal assistance, education, and livelihood opportunities. This can be challenging in a context like South Sudan, but it is essential.